Yo, what is good YouTube? I'm so sorry for the delay in videos, but I'm finally back with another one. So for today's video, I just want to drop three tips that will help you break into tech slash software engineering. Hopefully these tips will motivate you and keep you going on your journey. So the first tip I have for you is to be patient. I know there have been a lot of videos on the internet where people are boasting about becoming a software engineer within four months or whatever. Yes, these are very clickbait and it might be true or it might be false, but who cares? What's important is that each and every one of you are different. If you want to be a software engineer within four months, you need to put in the time and the effort. And in reality, everyone has their own lives. Either you have a full-time job or you're in school or whatever. Unless if you can treat learning to code as a full-time job, don't expect to learn everything and land a job within four months. Be real with yourselves and set realistic timelines. If you're only able to put in one hour a week, then be realistic with yourself. It may take one year or two years depending on how fast you can learn the material. But honestly, as long as you're consistent and realistic with your timeline, you should eventually be able to hit your target. But anyways, who in their right mind wants to spend eight hours a day learning how to code seven days a week? That sounds like torture and you're eventually gonna burn yourself out. And listen guys, learning to code is a long-term journey. You're always gonna be constantly learning, so please take your time with this. You don't wanna burn out and hate this thing because obviously you're learning this so that you can build a career out of this. And a great analogy of learning how to code is like going to the gym. Your first few months at the gym, you're gonna be horrible. You're not gonna know how to use the equipment. You're not gonna know what exercises to do. But eventually, as you watch videos, as you watch other people, you're gonna learn how to work out. The same concept applies to programming. If you're a total beginner right now, everything will be overwhelming. Just typing on the keyboard will be scary. But don't worry, once you put in the time and the effort and practice every day, you're gonna get good at this stuff and you're gonna be proficient and you're gonna be ready for a job. So again, please be patient with yourself and take care of yourself. This is a long, long, long journey, so make sure you enjoy it. All right, tip number two. This one is very simple. A lot of you guys need to be more attentive to details. For example, this week I recently got a DM from one of my subscribers asking me what is wrong with their code. They literally copied everything from the video and it's not working. So let's take a look at this code. Okay, do you guys see anything wrong with it? Maybe not. But look, there's an error message. And what does the error say? Indentation error. So guys, please, an important part of learning to program is learning how to read error messages. If you see an error message, you should be very happy because sometimes programs might crash and they might not give you an error message. So please read the error message and try to understand what is going on because in most cases, the error message is very straightforward. In this case, it's telling you your indentation is off. So please fix it. And maybe sometimes you might not understand the error message and that's totally fine as well. And that's where tools like Google or ChatGPT is for. You literally copy the error message, not word for word, but obviously the more generic stuff. And then you pop it in Google or ChatGPT and then you're gonna get a result from either Stack Overflow or some other website. And hopefully that will help you resolve your issue. And again, right now we're living in 2023. We have tools like ChatGPT, a AI bot that will help you. So literally, you can even just copy the code and put into ChatGPT and say, hey, my code is not working, can you fix it? And boom, ChatGPT will spit out the corrected code and voila, now you're a real programmer. And in the worst case, if none of these tools work, you'll have to ask a real person. And this is probably the hardest thing ever because people suck at replying or they're just very slow at it. Two hours later. Jokes aside, please learn how to use these tools because they will help you a lot along your journey of learning how to program. And now going back to this code, literally if you're copying the code that I have in the video and it's not working, sometimes it might be you and not me. Just kidding, I also make mistakes and if you catch one of them, make sure to drop a comment below and let me know what the problem is. And then I'll pin a comment with the updated code that will work. Anyways, when you're programming, you need to be really good at playing this game where you find the differences within two pictures. So here's a picture here and here's a picture here. Do you guys see any difference? Well, it looks like the spacing is off. So anytime the code that you copied from the video isn't working, make sure to take a picture of the code and put it side by side with your code and try to see the differences. 
And hopefully this will help you resolve your issue so that you can move on and enjoy the rest of your day. All right, last but not least, tip number three. And this one is super important. A lot of you guys need to build in public. I know it's scary to put your code out there, but if you're not getting any feedback on your code, you're not going to get better. Learning to code is like going to the gym again. When I first started working out, I didn't know what I was doing. I literally just picked up the weight and tried to imitate what other people were doing. But the problem with this is I'm probably not doing the correct motion. Yes, I'm moving the weight, but I'm probably not working out the correct muscles. So this is very similar to learning how to program because if you're not getting feedback on your code, you might be doing something incorrect and you'll never know. And then you build up a very bad habit that will be very hard to break in the future. So please, please, please share your code with other people. And like I mentioned earlier in the series, feel free to drop your code in the comment below and I will read it. I literally read each and every comment. So if you have a question or you just want to share your code, feel free to drop it and I will look at it and I will reply. And listen guys, if you write code and it never sees the light of day, what's the point? So the whole point of software engineering or just programming in general is to build things that you can use, your family can use, your friends can use, just someone else in the world can use. You know, one of the best feelings is when you build something and somebody else uses it and then they tell you, hey, I'm using your product and it's amazing. So please, if you build a project, please share it to the world and let someone use it. Let them give you feedback so that way you can get better because now you're building out a portfolio and you're getting users and feedback. And this is super important because when you're interviewing for a job, you can talk about how you built this project, you shared it to the world, people used it, they gave you feedback, you took the feedback, you fixed the product, and you made it better. These are the stories that you want to tell during an interview. Nobody cares about a tic-tac-toe game that nobody plays. Nobody cares about that review app that you built with zero reviews. So please, please, please have real users use your application or projects that you build. And that's my three tips for you. Hopefully this was helpful and I hope you the best of luck on your programming journey.